Hello, Dr. Blankenstein here. Gonna demonstrate the Man Machine Synthesizer made specifically for Kraftwerk. Um, I'll go over it part by part and then we'll give you a demonstration. Uh, when I first created the synthesizer, the intentions were to uh, possibly sell it or trade it for tickets for the Man Machine. That same day, I got the phone call from Volkswagen and we won the tickets. And now I give this synth to Kraftwerk. Um, I'd be happy to put a Volkswagen logo right here if I could get to Ralph or any of the boys to give them the synthesizer. I'm sure they'd rather have it, keep it, love it, use it, than it uh, for it to wind up for sale or something like that. Uh, I'd be much happier giving it away and uh, it would be uh, an honor for them to own this piece. All right, a quick walkthrough here of the graphics and some of the features on the outside of the Man Machine Synthesizer. Uh, you see, uh, we featured some famous Man Machines and robots. Obviously, C-3PO and R2 over there, probably the robot. Terminator, Robocop. Um, got some Cylons over here, Optimus Prime. T-1000, of course, HAL 9000, Darth Beta. Uh, some of the uh, features we have here, obviously there's your uh, output, quarter inch mono output, uh, volume control. Uh, in front we have our power switch. And over here we have a bit crusher, which is actually a power starving feature, which we'll show you later. Okay, looking over the business end of the synthesizer, the top face, uh, again, graphic, very nice. Uh, these knobs control various parts of the synth, um, depending on where they're set on one, it'll control different parts of the other, uh, which you'll see better during the demo, being speed, pitch, uh, different amplitudes. Now this right here, these four body contacts, are actually uh, what makes this partially a man machine besides the graphics is that the resistance of your body becomes part of the synthesizer if you hit these or if you hit these so if you're sweaty uh, you know, excited or if you lick your fingers maybe uh, it makes a better can you know uh, actually more of a resistor um, of the electricity going through your body of course this isn't dangerous let's turn her on so you have a uh, color change in LED in the middle that will change depending on where the oscillators are set. Uh, now this little guy right here, this switch, controls the phototheremin that's up here, which will allow you to control the synth by waving your hand on top of it, or uh, you can play it with a flashlight, or uh, a light, which uh, we'll show you some of that in a bit. Going inside. The Man Machine Synthesizer. You see it's very nicely wired. And here's our chip. Dr. Blankenstein seal of approval. And of course a thank you to Kraftwerk inside. So let's check out the Man Machine in action. This is the bit crusher knob. Notice the LED. Bring it down real low.
to turn on the phototherman. So now I'm controlling the phototherman and the knob at the same time. So by letting in less or more light, we're controlling the scent. Turn this down for a second to explain. Now I'm going to turn the light on and off. So we're going to control the synthesizer with a desk lamp. Bit crusher. Controlling the synth with the desk lamp. Hence the man machine. electronic musician now for uh, almost 20 years of my life uh, now building synthesizers and effects uh, craft work has obviously been a major major influence in all of that the and, idea um, here of course is that possibly uh, someone at Volkswagen could give me a little bit more access uh, anyone watching anyone listening anything anyone can do to help me get this to the guys I'd really appreciate it. Um, hopefully they'd enjoy it. I think they would. Uh, so, if there's any help anyone can give, hit me up, leave a comment, email me, light a fire, do something. Just help me get the man machine for the men who made it. <laughs>